Palestine. I'm looking around and I'm so proud that the Palestinian Solidarity Movement is diverse and it is multicultural. It is a cause of humanity and hope. Humanity and hope in defiance of the scale of the atrocities that we are continuing to witness. The exceptional number of those killed, wounded, missing, captured or detained. Families completely and utterly wiped out by Israel's AI targeting. The unprecedented, the unprecedented destruction of homes, of hospitals, of schools, of places of worship and other infrastructure. The starvation and disease caused by the deliberate, yes, the deliberate denial of food, medicine, fuel and electricity, and the blatant violations of international humanitarian law. The UK and US's ongoing role, the repression, the dehumanization and disregard for Palestinian dignity, the double standards, the racism, continues to chill us to our bone. This war on civilians hangs over us and yet the horrors continue before our very eyes. The UK government, the UK government and the political establishment are completely out of sync with the British people. and continues to be so. And so we stand here today once again and we say, not in our name. Say, not in our name. More than 33,000 Palestinians have now been killed. Yet the supply of arms for Israel continues. How many of those slaughtered were killed by British made arms? Prime Minister, our message is clear. Stop arming Israel. Stop arming Israel. Starving civilians can never ever, can never ever be viewed to be part of a legitimate military campaign. But that is what is happening in Gaza as they now enter famine. Images of starved children picking up flour from the ground and eating animal feed are beyond devastating. So, Prime Minister, hear us when we say, restore UNRWA funding immediately. Yeah. And we know that for aid to actually reach those in most desperate need, there needs to be an immediate and permanent ceasefire. Yeah. Whilst the UN Security Council has finally voted for a ceasefire in Gaza, we call on the government to play its role to ensure that it's actually implemented. And we cannot pretend that it's a lasting solution. The UK must call for an immediate and lasting ceasefire. But more than this, Prime Minister, we say loud and clear, recognise the state of Palestine. of Palestinians must end now and we will keep coming together as long as it is needed as many times as we need to stand together without any hesitation against the injustice war crimes and the oppression free free